Is the X300 by Lenovo still a viable machine for everyday use in 2016? That is the question. So the screen here is the main event. It's 1440 by 900, 16 by 10. This does have a decent screen. Um, uh, you will probably want to install Middleton's BIOS, a custom BIOS which allows you to um, essentially turbo boost both cores of the CPU. This processor is ordinarily a 1.2 gigahertz processor, but it is still running above 1.2 gigahertz, which is the important point. Um, so here's a cold boot of Chrome. It's probably cached uh, in the super fetch or whatever it's known as. Speed test does tend to tax the CPU at least a little bit. It's running here at 1.4 gigahertz, more or less. And you will Notice in the left there that the computer is actually downloading meh, probably about two thirds of the uh, available bandwidth. That's more an issue with the N card in it. It's kind of a kind of a mediocre card. It's from the very early draft N era. You will notice that it is actually using quite a lot of CPU just to do something like uh, use speed test. Let's open another tab. Go to YouTube. Just open any old thing. I think about a pizza. I don't like him. This is running at 720p. It hasn't buffered that much. I'm basically just playing it as it goes. And yeah, you can see it runs. The fan has just come on. So if you're happy with 720p, which is reasonable, then you'll be probably quite happy with this. The fan will come on a lot, though it's not going to be a cool and quiet laptop. So let's open a sort of lightweight 3D game. Geometry Wars 3. So as you can see it is running fairly well there. Um, yeah, not more not much more to say. You could probably have fun playing this. This is running the basically the anniversary update of Windows 10. It just shows you it's an L7100 processor, 4 gig RAM. I'm using the 64-bit version. Uh, and it is not activated yet. <laughs> Um, so the answer to the question is yes, you probably can use this for everyday use, light tasks, stuff like that. I think the screen looks good, it's a good size, good amount of um, vertical space pixel wise which is always important and uh, yeah, so if you see one on eBay, pick it up. Um, I would obviously recommend the X301 simply because that's a, a faster computer but this, um, if anything and if nothing else it'll go into the collection nicely, you know? So, happy ThinkPad video watching, guys. And I hope you have the best of luck.